Hedgehog. Hello, fellow treasure hunters. Hedgehog here to bring you another crypto investigation. I am not a financial advisor and I create these videos as part of my own investigations. If you are thinking about investing or trading a certain cryptocurrency, I encourage you to perform your own due diligence. Let's get started. In this episode, we will examine the Internet of People coin. Internet of People is a proof of work cryptocurrency that is intended to provide peer to peer transactions and distributed applications. At the time of this recording, it is ranked 480th on coin market cap and has a market cap of about 5.8 million, so I would consider this a small cap coin. It also has a low circulating supply of about 3.3 million IOP coins out of a possible 21 million total supply. For trading or investing in this coin, it can be found on Bittrex and Upbit. Now let's take a look at their website. Internet of People is touted as a complete infrastructure for apps and payments that is decentralized based upon nodes. These nodes can run on home computers as full nodes or partial nodes on devices like smartphones. IOP combines existing blockchain technology with IOP developed protocols. Anyone can set up a full node and anyone can contribute to the project. IOP is based upon Bitcoin Core and can be traded on seven exchanges, with the largest one being Bittrex. IOP wallets are available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. There are a few videos here. The first two speak in generalities about cryptos, but nothing specific about how IOP differs from other cryptocurrencies. Their third one describes the graph for sharing personal data. And the fourth one describes their vision to be a community crypto with chapters around the world. Finally, we have some links to resources. From their website, we can also view their team. It looks like a solid team. However, I always prefer it when these projects post their LinkedIn profiles. On to the white paper, uh, blue paper. The beginning of the blue paper talks in generalities about the project. It then goes on to describe the technical elements of the project. This includes a peer-to-peer -peer network established on hardware nodes via daemons and P2P apps established to run across this network via IOP nodes using the Libertaria Mercury protocol. The peer-to-peer -peer network consists of full nodes that contain the entire blockchain, content addressable network or CAN servers which store and deliver content for P2P apps, location-based network or LOC servers which allow nodes on the network to self-organize based on geolocation. Profile servers that allow end users to expose their profiles. Proximity servers that provide real-time location information for P2P apps. And the P2P distributed apps themselves, which are written by third-party developers or the IOP community. The cryptocurrency itself is based upon Bitcoin Core so it uses SHA-256 and the proof-of-work consensus algorithm. Unlike with Bitcoin, only whitelisted nodes are allowed to mine blocks. These whitelisted nodes are owned by individual chapters. This is meant to prevent the centralization seen in Bitcoin. IOP uses a decentralized cooperative governance structure with the power divided between the internal community and the public, where each wallet owner gets a vote. For governance, chapters are established via geographic location and divisions are established based upon functional areas. Three projects managed by the Libertaria movement include Project Mercury for communication protocols, Titania to produce consumer hardware, and Hydra to provide interoperability with other blockchains. Next we have the roadmap, which includes moving to a combined proof-of-work, proof-of-stake mining system. The IOP token itself is very similar to Bitcoin, however they plan to add more decimals from 8 to 12 to enable PICO transactions. 
Finally, they described their switch to a hybrid proof-of-stake proof-of-work system where whitelisted chapters can mine while wallet holders will be able to stake their tokens. They have quite a few sub-projects on GitHub. Let's look at their core software. Their core software has many contributors, though one user has the majority of lines of code. The IOP Reddit forum is fairly active with 488 readers, along with Bitcoin Forum, where most of the sentiment seems positive. Here we can look at their block explorer, where we see the latest blocks and node information, along with the distribution of IOP tokens. In the area of marketing and communications, their Twitter page is fairly active, with many posts about events, new exchange plans, etc. If you were wanting to pick some of this up, it's near its November support levels. So what do you guys think of this project? It seems like they are trying to create a comprehensive blockchain ecosystem, and it might be worth picking up a few coins just to keep them on the radar. Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.